Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be talking about Deep Rock's perks. Now Deep Rock Galactic has a good variety of perks and luckily a lot of them are quite good as well as you do have multiple slots that you can use for them. But there has been something that's been popping up recently, really ever since the seasons have started coming in, and that has been the amount of perk points that we actually, because currently you can get every single perk in the game of Deep Rock and still have 173 extra points left over to spend on anything. Now that's only if you've done absolutely everything to get these perk points. And the very first thing that I would like to outline is the amount of perk points that we get compared to the amount of perks that we have. Now, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to have more perk points than we have perks. Um, I think it actually should stay that way. I think that was, I, I think that should be something that remains in the game because the way to get a lot of these perk points is by doing other objectives and not everybody wants to do them. You know, do so many industrial sabotage missions, do so many haunted cave modifiers, do so many exploder infestations. There's always those type of mutators that we just don't like for whatever reason it might be. Haunted cave because it can take the mission going forever. Uh, you know, exploder infestation because you never want to see it on something like an escort mission where it can just blow up Dottie and you can lose the match. Or something like a mission type like maybe industrial sabotage which just doesn't really appeal to you because it, you find it not particularly fun or whatever the other reason is. So I think that it's a good idea to have so many options for us to get perk points. That way we can actually get all the perks and try them out. Just like in every game, it kind of sucks when you build up one particular perk and then you find maybe it isn't the most useful or you don't use it nearly as often as you thought you might. Currently with this tier list is kind of how I feel with the current perk setup. It hasn't really changed since the last year when I had talked about the perks and really none of the perks have changed all that much. There's been a few changes from the seasons where heightened senses have gotten a little bit more useful since Nemesis is now in the game. It was more useful in season two because Nemesis was there and he was more prevalent. And then in season one and three, it didn't really change. All the others have stayed basically the same. Some of them have gotten a little bit better because of the robots being added or because of the new enemies being added, but not that much better. Something like friendly can still be useful if you're using particular weapon types, but it, on lower difficulties where friendly fire isn't that big of a deal, it tends to kind of get outshined by other perks. So there's plenty of perks here that we could talk about and ones that should probably get buffed in one way or another. Um, something like Second Wind should probably get a buff. Now there is talks amongst the developers, at least from my understanding, that they are going to be changing some of the perks in the future. I'm not sure if that means they're going to be changing them entirely, reworking them into other perks, combining perks, or adding more perks, or a combination of all those things. Frankly, I would like to see all of those because, it, well, it gives me more options to try out different builds and try out different things. Because currently I've been using the same couple builds and the same few perk setups for the longest time. There's just certain perks that are kind of better than other perks in most situations, especially on higher difficulties. So I think an interesting idea would be to, first off, add more perks into the game just in general. So that we have more options that we can pick and more things that we can buy, more things that we can spend the perk points on. However, I don't want them to be so excessive that you use up every single perk point to get every single thing. I don't think that should ever be the case, but if there was an extra 50 to 100 perks in, or perk points in total compared to the perks, I think that would be fine. That would still give people plenty of variety to get things, and there would still be a reason to be playing different mission types, maybe going on some mutators and going on some other missions that you may not really mind. Um, and can get these so that you at least have the points that you need so that you can get all the perks and try them out if you would like to. For combining perks, I would like to see certain perks just be combined into, in general. Something like Unstoppable and Second Wind or with Strong Arm and maybe Veteran Depositor. Some of these other perks that have kind of niche uses by themselves they can work on certain builds veteran depositor is great for adding more defense and if you're going on low oxygen mission it's pretty good there and if you want to run tank gunner it's even better because you can stay around molly be tanky and something like unstoppable can be really good on scout if you want to take momentum with the grappling hook where you get basically a mini dash that way and it can also be useful if you just want to run it in like the fungus bog where you just really hate the goo there as for adding new perks um i know that there is kind of a difficulty at least when it comes to adding new active perks simply because the way the deep rock is set up the way the deep rock is set up is that basically everything has to be able to be mapped to a controller which makes sense and it makes it so that the game is more accessible to everybody which i think is a really good thing but you could potentially just change this to being able to set your own custom settings for active perks. I think that would go over a lot better with the community uh, just in general because it would make it easier. I'm not sure how difficult that actually is to do. 
uh, if you were going to patch it to something like console, it might prove to be a struggle and Ghost Ship has talked about wanting to make Deep Rock cross-platform with everything. So maybe whenever, hopefully whenever that comes out, that will become a possibility as well. We can actually map our own uh, keys to whatever we want, whether we're playing on controller or whether we're playing on PC. And on PC, this isn't really a problem because you can just map your controls to whatever the heck you want, just like in basically every game. So what are your guys' thoughts on the perk points and the perk situation in general? Do you think it's okay? Would you like to see it improved? Would you like to see more things added to it? Would you like to see certain things uh, get mixed and would you potentially like to see certain perks getting buffed and nerfed depending on how much they're used or Whatever the situation might be. Would you like to see some of the perks become base kit? I've heard that argument too Which I think could be an interesting idea for certain perks. Thanks everybody for watching this I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me your thoughts down in the comments below If you guys enjoy this kind of video be sure to get subscribed and I will talk to you guys next time till then stay cool and bye-bye